This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. Welcome to another special edition of this is your time. Absolutely. This is your season. And this is your moment. I want you to know that you are destined for greatness. The sky is the limit. You Listen, you can do anything you want to do. Listen, anything you put your mind to do, you can accomplish it. And I want to tell you, there will be family members that will hate on you. There will be family members that will doubt you. There will be family members that will not believe in you. There will be friends who will hate on you. There will be friends that will doubt you. There will be friends that will not believe in you. But let me tell you something. The biggest enemy is not your family. It's not your friends. Your biggest enemy is not the people that don't believe in you. Your biggest enemy is when you doubt yourself. Your biggest enemy is when you don't believe in yourself. Your biggest enemy is when you don't believe you can do it. Because the only person that can stop you is yourself. And I'm here today to help you to believe in yourself. You may have low self-esteem. You may not have courage. You may doubt yourself. You may not believe in yourself. Listen, believe in yourself. Have courage. Have faith. Faith without works is dead. It's not just enough to dream. But after you dream big, it's time to make your dream a reality. And today's motivational video today is use your imagination. Listen, imagination is powerful. The mind is powerful. Let me tell you something. There's something about the mind. The mind is the most powerful thing. Use your imagination. I want you to imagine yourself becoming a billionaire. Imagine yourself becoming a multi-millionaire. Maybe you dropped out of high school. Imagine yourself getting your GED. Maybe you dropped out of college. Imagine yourself getting your college degree. Imagine yourself getting that doctoral degree. Imagine yourself getting that PhD. Imagine yourself winning the Super Bowl. Imagine yourself winning the NBA championship. Imagine yourself winning the World Series. Imagine yourself winning the NCAA championship. Imagine yourself winning the high school state championship. Imagine yourself winning the World Cup. Imagine yourself winning the World Series in Major League Baseball. Listen, imagine yourself accomplishing your dreams. Use your imagination because imagination is something special. I'm going to say that again. Your imagination is something special. Your imagination is something intricately significant. Your imagination is imperative. Your imagination is so important. Use your imagination. I can. I will. I must. I am in London. I am in Australia. I am in corporate. I am international. I am in the NBA. I'm going to speak in the NBA. I am in the NFL. I'm going to speak in the NFL. Because I imagine myself speaking in the NBA. I imagine myself speaking in the NFL. I imagine myself being international. And now I'm international. Why? Because I'm using my imagination. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to use your imagination. Listen, I went from flunk in the first grade to barely graduating high school, to having a reading and comprehension problem, being labeled as retarded, being bullied in school, uh, being labeled as retarded. I barely graduated high school. I finally got in college, but I got sick and had a nervous breakdown, and I flunked out of college, but I got back in on academic probation. And then I was homeless in 2009. Then I was innocently shot multiple times and pronounced dead at the hospital. And now I'm a published author of four self-help motivational books. I'm a certified life coach and motivational speaker. And I am a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize Award. And now I'm changing the world as a motivational speaker. People have watched my videos and they decided not to commit suicide for watching my videos. Marriages were restored. 
uh, people made it through sicknesses for watching my motivational videos. People's lives was changed all for watching my motivational videos because I made a decision four years ago to get in front of this camera and speak to the world for free every day. I made a decision. And that's what I want to tell you. Greatness, success, it starts with a decision. I want you to decide to want to be great. I want you to make a decision to want to be great. I want you to decide to be to be successful. I want you to decide to want to become successful. Principle number one. Seven principles I'm about to give you. Principle number one. Don't be afraid to use your imagination. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, you may be at rock bottom, you may be depressed, you may have a mental illness, you may be in the hospital, you may be grieving because you lost a loved one, you may be an alcoholic, you may be a drug addict. Don't be afraid to use your imagination. Listen, you're going to come out of that. Maybe you're a teen, you're struggling. Maybe you want to be a CEO of a company. Maybe you want to start your own business. I don't know. But don't be afraid to use your imagination because it all starts in the mind. Principle number two, the greats created some of the great products and inventions because they use their imagination. Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, uh, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, uh, Richard Branson, uh, Virgin, uh, Warren Buffett, Steve Jobs, Apple, Bill Gates, Microsoft. Some of the greats created the greatest products and inventions because they used their imagination. Elon Musk. Number three, principle number three. Jeff Bezos created Amazon because he wasn't afraid to use his imagination. Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook because he was not afraid to use his imagination. Richard Branson created Virgin because he was not afraid to use his imagination. Listen, uh, Bill Gates created Microsoft because he wasn't afraid to use his imagination. Steve Jobs created Apple because he was not afraid to use his imagination. Principle number four, when you walk in fear, it will hinder you, watch this, from using your imagination. Walking in fear will stop you from using your imagination because all the greats, they, they became successful because they used their imagination. Listen, greatness is in your DNA. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to live, then you'll be successful. Go ahead and start that business. Go ahead and write that book. Go ahead and be a CEO of that company. Go ahead and get that education. Go ahead and be a doctor, lawyer. Go ahead and pass the bar exam. Go ahead and become a doctor. Accomplish your dreams. Use your imagination. And while you're going after your dreams, this is what you have to do. I want you to put in 120%. Listen, don't have to do anything. Don't put in 60%. Don't put in 70%. Don't put in 80%. Don't put in 90%. Don't put in 100%. Put in 120%. Beast mode. High mode. Sweat. Tears. Beast mode. Lion mode. Go all out and use your imagination. Principle number five. I'm closing. Use your mind, watch this, in a positive way and get rid of all the negativity in your mind. That's the most important principle. Listen, listen. When I flown out of college, I could have gave up. And now I am Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. And I'm a first generation college graduate student because I use my imagination. I'm a published author. I'm a nominee for the Nobel. I'm a certified life coach, motivational speaker. Why? Because I made a decision to recycle my pain and use my imagination. Use your mind in a positive way and get rid of all negativity in your mind. Listen, you got to get negativity out of your mind. You got to put positivity in your mind. And next thing, get away from positive people. Get out of those bad relationships. Get out of those bad friendships. Get, get away from those people, from those friends that are making you do wrong things. Get away from those friends who are pulling you down. Get out of that bad relationship. Get out of that negative environment. Principle number six, and I'm closing. Stop being negative and use your imagination 
in a positive way. Don't use your imagination in a negative way. But use your imagination in a positive way. Always think positive. Talk positive. Next thing. Watch what comes out of your mouth. Words have power. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Watch what you speak. Watch what you say. Be careful what you say. Because people build their lives based off the way they think. People build their lives based off the decisions they made. People build their lives based off of what they say. So speak life. Stop speaking death and speak life. Speak positivity. Principle number seven. Dream big. Do the impossible. Prove your doubt is wrong. And don't be afraid to imagine. Use your imagination. Prove your hate is wrong. Prove your doubt is wrong. Go for it. Do it. Be it. Become it. Don't be afraid to take risk. If you're going to be great, if you're going to become successful, you have to be willing to take risk. You have to be willing to take a chance. No one has ever gotten anywhere who did not take a chance. And there are times you're going to fail. There are times you're going to make mistakes. Get back up. Dust yourself off and try again until you succeed. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please spread the word about me all over social media as a motivational speaker. Listen, I want to tell the whole world I love you, I care about you, and I believe in you. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. On your mark.